What it do, YouTube? I am your boy, Tony Boat, the evil zombie slayer, conspiracy exposer, white girl layer, finger guns, ch ch pop. Follow my socials. The important ones are onlyfans.com slash v0gu3 and my Twitter, t0nyv0gu3. You want to chill with me and my friends? Discord.me slash black velvet lounge. That's all the promo for now. I got something really interesting to talk to you about. A very interesting concept called the Robert Glass, the Robert Golf Glass Camera. Now, this was supposedly a CIA operation to create an invisible camera to be able to view people without them having any method of knowing that they're being viewed. Now, the way a camera works traditionally is it works off of reflection and refraction. Anything that is hit by light either reflects or it absorbs light. Meaning if you make an absorbent camera, it's going to look straight black, pitch black, vanta black. And if you make an invisible camera, you're going to be able, well, it would be a mirror camera. That's the only way to really do a, an invisible camera. Unless, you look into the world of the supernatural. Now, I'm going to have my boy Wendy Goon explain it for you real quick because he did a really short, great synopsis on this. And then I'm going to highlight the points that I want to discuss that he may not have been aware of and tie everything together, all right? But first, drop me a subscribe, drop me a comment. I know y'all love this shit. Show me some love so I can please keep doing it, all right? I love my comments. I'll pin it. My comment back will be best friends forever. You and your boy Tony Vogue in a tree eating ice cream, happy as can be. You know, great things. All right, let's get into it. This is my boy Wendy Goon right here. Where am I though? Wendy Goon, I'd love to work with you at some point. I know I'm a small YouTuber, so don't take this as disrespect, but I like your content. And thank you for giving me something to react on. Recorder that was theorized in the 90s to 2000s. Essentially, it says that there was an idea between three letter agencies in the United States. Them alphabet boys, CIA, NSA, FBI, ATF, uh, immigrations and customs now. To make a sort of viewless recorder, or in other words, a camera that is not visible. This is why it was called the glass camera. Essentially, remember, guys. Diffraction or reflection on anything that exists, even glass. A device that could be used by people to record or view actions of someone without having any evidence that it was being recorded. Now, of course, while this is not only impossible, it completely breaks the understanding of physics. Like, how could you have a thing that records something visual but cannot also bring in light waves and you get... Bingo. So how do you record without bringing in light waves? And bringing in those light waves would cause either refraction, as in it would absorb the light, or reflection. Point. And the details of how the glass camera was to be built were never made public. And uh, here we go. Because the glass camera cannot be built by conventional scientific means. We're about to go down this rabbit hole. The idea is that it wasn't done using physical properties, but psychic properties. Suppose hey. there's a psychic by the name of Robert Golf, which the government has done a good job at eliminating the record of his existence, yep. he worked with the government on astral projection. So essentially what would happen, according to this theory, is Robert Golf would be hooked up to the sort of imagers that attach to his head, and put his thoughts onto a screen. So then essentially what Robert would do is he would astrally project. That is fucking amazing. So this man was literally astrally projecting. Kind of like lucid dreaming. Hooked up to a monitor. With CIA dudes watching him. Out We're gonna do more remote viewing stuff. Use something as a sort of ghost or specter. And then that was wired back to his brain, which was then wired to a television, and that's how the glass camera works. The reason it can be a camera with no person or no evidence of a camera is because it is the astrally projected vision of his wired into a TV monitor, which... Alright, supposedly... 
I'm gonna stop Wendy Goon right there, alright? For people who have lost nerves and cannot see, we can literally hook up a camera to your brain stem. We're not that far. The way this all ended is one time Robert was out of his body too long while astral projecting and uh -oh. died. And for a few brief seconds, Here's the kicker. to which the image of it was transmitted back into his body, meaning there is supposed I'm going to pause right there for a second, in case you didn't catch it. He died. Therefore, what he was viewing and what was on the monitors was a vision of the afterlife. Let's take that in One again. Time, Robert was out of his body too long while astral projecting and died. And for a few brief seconds, went to heaven, to which the image of it was transmitted back into his body, meaning there is supposed found footage of heaven and according to found footage of heaven now that would turn the world upside down so i'll give you one guess before i hit play on who has procured it to the theory that footage was immediately stolen by the catholic church and vatican archives remains in the vatican vault to this day so robert golf astrally projected heaven found footage into the catholic church vault oh my gosh <laughs> Is that crazy or is that crazy? I know, I know, that is a wild, wild story. But it gets crazy. Allegedly, after the Catholic Church saw that, wow, we can have visions of the afterlife using this Robert, Gla uh, Robert Golf Ga Glass camera technique, why don't we take some criminals charged with, say, murder? or crimes that are unspeakable and use the same methodology on them. So what the Catholic Church did was they implemented the same methodology, uh, the Robert Golf glass camera technique, and they had a uh, death row inmate wired up, wired up for far too long. And it is rumored that there is footage not only of heaven from Robert Golf, but also of hell in the Vatican archives from the condemned that they forced to go through with this experiment. If you want to learn more, check out Wendigoon's Conspiracy Theory Iceberg. It is part nine where he discusses the Robert Golf glass camera. And I promise we'll be bringing you more crazy astral projection stories soon. It's your boy Tony Vogue, Finger Guns.